primary market is where the securities are issued for the first time. After this process is complete, these securities become available to be traded on stock exchanges. The universe of securities that you can trade on stock exchanges actually constitute secondary market. The first thing you should understand is that secondary market transactions do not result in additional capital to the issuer. This is because only existing shares get traded between different investors and the company itself does not receive any funds because of the trades in the secondary market. Primary market is the only market where a company can go for raising capital. Secondary markets essentially support primary market by performing some specific functions. These functions include liquidity and price discovery. Let's look at them briefly. Security markets provide liquidity and improve marketability of existing securities. So markets provide investors the option to sell their equity shares. This means that the investor can stay invested without the fear of his funds being blocked as they are free to sell their shares whenever they want to. This also means that new investors have the opportunity to buy these shares if they want to. Another function performed by the secondary market is price discovery. The price at which an investor buys or sells a security depends on their assessment of future prospects of the company. The logic is that when a company performs well, it is likely to attract buyers. Similarly, when the business suffers, there is a lack of buyers as many of the existing investors would also like to sell their holdings. Hence, there is a continuous market evaluation of the company. This continuous process benefits issuers when they have to raise further capital from the markets. This is because the price at which their existing security is trading is a fair indicator of the price at which they can issue new securities. Secondary market is also an indicator of economic activity. Secondary market data is used to generate benchmark indices. Every country has some leading stock indices which are continuously tracked and are viewed as the barometer of economic performance. For example, there is S&P 500 and NASDAQ in US, the DAX in Germany, Sensex and Nifty in India. A sustained rise in indices indicate healthy revenue, profitability, capital investment and expansion in large companies. This also indicates a strong growth in economy. Similarly, a decline in indices indicates a weakening economy. Secondary market is also known as market for corporate control. Secondary markets promote efficient governance. If a management is inefficient, the company will underperform, which will lead to a fall in its stock's price. This would make it an acquisition target for acquirers who would replace the inefficient management with an efficient management. Now that we have understood primary market and secondary market, you might naturally wonder as to who sets the price in these markets. And this is going to be the topic of our discussion in the coming videos.